Montreal has long been known for a certain je ne sais quoi, but also for what many say is a nuisance. CTV's Quebec Bureau Chief Genevieve Beauchemin on the city's pylon purge. A drive through downtown Montreal can be a formidable feat. Maneuvering around an obstacle course of orange cones. It's part of the city's heritage at this point. <laughs> so common a sight, the construction staple is, half-jokingly, known as the unofficial symbol of the city. Behold this moment when Montreal's beloved Canadians made the Stanley Cup finals in 2021. Yeah, Montreal is known for its, for its cones. Is that a good or bad thing? Uh, it's a funny thing. <laughs> <laughs> Not so funny to the Montreal business community. It has long said some cones are crucial, of course, for the safety of all. But the sea of orange is bad for branding. With all those orange cones everywhere, what you create an impression that, you know, the downtown is a bit dysfunctional. It commissioned a study and found up to a quarter don't seem to serve any purpose at all. Some are just abandoned and ignored. Each of those cones cost 130 bucks. So imagine, it's a huge amount of money. A summit was held in March to study the issue, and then there was this news article. It included past Google Street View photos that show cones parked near the entrance to a tunnel for 16 years. They're only in use for periodic night maintenance. Those cones vanished the very day the article was published, and a crackdown is now underway. The province says it has picked up dozens of cones and warned those lining construction sites inactive for over 72 hours will be removed. But cutting down on the number of cones won't actually get to the underlying issue, say many people here in Montreal, and that's the fact that there's so much construction in the city that seems to last forever. Still, the spring cleaning is designed to pluck some of the cones that have popped up to let the beauty of Montreal bloom. Geneviève Beauchemin, CTV News, Montreal.